Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monday, the 20th of June, 2022, of the twelfth week, in Ordinary Time. The lover flieth, runneth, and rejoiceth. He is free, and cannot be restrained. He giveth all for all, and hath all in all, because he resteth in one sovereign good above all, from whom all good floweth and proceedeth. Daily Prayer O Father, give us the humility which realizes its ignorance, admits its mistakes, recognizes its need, welcomes advice, accepts rebuke. Help us always to praise rather than to criticize, to sympathize rather than to discourage, to build rather than to destroy and to think of people at their best rather than at their worst. This we ask for thy name's sake. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word even though the Lord warned Israel, Give up your evil ways and keep my commandments. They did not listen. They sought to measure things by their own standards and wishes rather than by God's covenant and law. But when we seek the Lord's mercy, He removes the beams from our eyes so that we can see clearly and begin judging all things aright. The Epistle In his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. A reading from the second book of Kings, chapter 17 verse 5. Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria, settling them in Halah, at the Haber, a river of Gazan, and the cities of the Mede. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against the Lord their God who had brought them up from the land of Egypt from under the domination of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and because they venerated other gods. They followed the rights of the nations whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel and the kings of Israel whom they set up. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, Give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes, in accordance with the entire law which I enjoined on your fathers, and which I sent you by my servants, the prophets, they did not listen, but were as stiff-necked as their fathers, who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes, the covenants which he had made with their fathers, and the warnings which he had given them, till in his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Psalm 60 Responsorial 
Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have rejected us and broken our defenses. You have been angry. Rally us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. You have rocked the country and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us stupefying wine. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Have not you, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of men. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel Remove the wooden beam from your eye first. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 7 verse 1. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged, and the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Stop Judging Matthew 7, 1 in his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus gives this simple command. But is he telling us to never recognize someone else's faults? That would be impossible. And what about his instruction about beams in our eyes and splinters in our neighbors? Matthew 7, 5 Jesus isn't telling us to ignore people's faults. He's telling us to stop passing judgment on them for their failings while ignoring our own. This doesn't come easily. We might encounter someone with an annoying habit or a different approach to parenting and instantly we make a judgment. Sometimes we don't even realize what we are doing. But why is it so important to stop judging? Perhaps one reason is that Jesus knows that our judgments can quickly lead to division, and his greatest desire is that we love one another. John 13:34. When we make a judgment about someone, it's as if we are building a wall between them and ourselves. With our first judgment, I would never do that. Our wall of separation is low, but with each added judgment, it grows higher and higher. We may soon think so negatively about that person that we can't relate lovingly at all. Eventually, we might be tempted to push them away entirely. Yet, Jesus is giving us a choice. 
When we are tempted to judge someone, we can decide to step closer to them. Instead of choosing separation, we can ask the Spirit to help us find connection. We might just find that connection by recognizing the beam in our own eye. Matthew 7, 5 Do they have a bad habit? We probably have some too. Did they offend us? Surely we've offended people. Did they make bad choices? Who knows? We might have acted the same way in their shoes. This is not just about redirecting the judgment to focus on ourselves. It's about recognizing our common humanity. When we realize that we all fall short in one way or another, we discover that we can relate and even empathize with the person we are tempted to judge. Instead of cutting off the relationship, we can open the door to compassion and love. We need one another. Let's not let judgments separate us. Holy Spirit, help me not to judge anyone today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.